trust me. Together, Yumito. Don't fail. I can't see it anymore, but I can feel it. Let's use SAS to find it.
Is that Karin? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Wait. Some kind of device is active here. Yakumo? What's going on? There are two Karans? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arahabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. <sighs> what? Did he just get absorbed? Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on, but does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? We need your help to close the Kunad Gate. Please, help us. We heard what you were saying. When you traveled 2,000 years in the past, you created an entanglement. The Kunad Gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists. So we need you to come with us so we can unravel... How tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. Where did you even learn about the red strings? From Arahabaki. Or, more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw, we are one now. So Yakumo was connected to it while in cold sleep? How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Arahabaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Babe. When our brains were being hacked at Arahabaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field... It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Arahabaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the Moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. 
I understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. You will help me, even if I must break you to obtain your aid! I won't let you get in the way! No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin! Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! 
What? Corin? Corin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You. This world. And still. <clears throat> You? Here they come! What the heck are these things? It looks like it appeared from within Connor. Two of us can do this! Maybe it's his memories or feelings materializing in the real world. His brain made something as ominous as that? You got this. This much power. There's no way Card will come out of all of this unscathed. He's likely prepared for that outcome. Uh, or rather, my brother thinks that even himself is just a pawn to reach his goal. Uh, I trust you, Kasane. Burn it down! Goodbye, Archie.
All right. We're winning back the future. Karin, please do not stand up. You can't take any more. <clears throat> Karin! I won't. I won't let things end here! What is this? Everyone, be careful! Something's... What? Huito! Anyone? SAS and Brain Talk are offline. Is this Karn's doing too? I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise! I'll figure out what's going on later. Everyone should be fine. They're probably fighting just like me. I can't break after coming this far. Like you, I won't erase the proof of all the hard work my sister went through in her life. As long as I remember her, she will live on. That's why I'm not alone. Kasami! I'm on my way! Don't tell me they got you! everyone worried. Not like I was worried, though. Can you handle it? Yours truly has arrived. It's okay, I'll... You saw through it. Emotional reunions for later. I know how you feel now. 
Why? We need to regroup. I will never accept this world. How could I? I refuse to accept it! I made it. Thank goodness. Uh, Yuito. You're always saving my life, so I thought I should probably return the favor. Not like I was keeping track. But thank you. Let's do it. I'm never going to stop. Next time. Next time I will not fail! It's not just our power. It's all of our powers, working as a team. As one! Our bonds give us strength! in this world, and it is denied to me. Give up. You fought and lost. We're done here. You don't have to keep doing this, Karin. Yes, I do. I can still... <coughs> Karin! Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Karen, the world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her.
please. We need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then... that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunan Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunan Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use Ara Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. There shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. <sighs> Will Yuito and Kasane's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Ara Habaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Ara Habaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? I'll be right there. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad Gate. <laughs> Ara Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you. But we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting Ara Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Ara Habaki. This 
says our Habakis. <sighs> Damn it! So much power! Uh, feels like I'm going to black out. The extinction belt! It's still not moving! I have to find a way to control this power! Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. We've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right then. Do it! Karin! We trust you. If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! No longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> these years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! <laughs> I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... To sacrifice your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Karin! Karin, I... Oh. <laughs> 
Where did he... What just happened? Look! The Kunad Gate! Beautiful. Does that mean... we... pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin... Yeah? That flood of red we saw everywhere... That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means... By traveling into the past, I wonder if we changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. Beautiful. I wish you could see it.
Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice. It's you. Wait. If you're here, then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? I don't know him. Do I? I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Go for superstitious <laughs> stuff like that. Go on. Ooh, let me guess. Yes. Really this has to do with these stuff. Wait, I'm going to do job. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. I gave it my all. Sure. I guess I'll join you. Oh, Kasane! You're finally here! Sorry, am I late? It doesn't look like Major General Fubuki is here yet. Ugh, who does he think he is keeping me waiting? Ooh, maybe I'll take a nap. It looks like the new Himuka government is dismantling the Togetsu faith. The design children there will probably be dealt with too, as they should be. I hope that the information Togetsu has can help this country's future. That also includes my knowledge. However, I think the moon is the best place for my knowledge to be put to use. Because you have Dr. Pope's knowledge? Yes. Also, Dr. Pope was from there. I hope I can use this knowledge to help the Moon. These memories have given me a hard time, but if they can be of use, maybe they're worth it to pay my debts. Debts? It brought you so much grief. I think it'll be good to get revenge on the Moon. <laughs> yes, but one of the reasons I was born was to carry on these memories. Also, Lately, I've started thinking that Dr. Pope's memories are a part of me, too. Maybe I've had a change of heart. I see. I'm glad. It's thanks to you that I could think this way. Thank you for giving me a chance at a second life. You chose this life yourself. It's not like I created it for you. If you hadn't faced the Togetsu remnants with me, I'm sure I would still be a prisoner to my past. So I wanted to repay you. I mean, this is what I really wanted. I don't know if I'll get permission since I used to be a Togetsu spy. I put in a request to join the Lunar Surface Survey Project. If they allow me, I'll be able to look after you. I can take care of myself. No, I might have you help me with something other than cooking, if you want. Oh, that makes me so happy! I'll be sure to bring you plenty of charms! I'm 
thinking of applying for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. There's so much drama hanging out with you. You're so eccentric. <laughs> I was only logistical support here, so I hope I get out there together with you on the moon. I like getting exercise. I'll have your back too. Let's do our best. You're gonna join the Lunar Surface Survey Project too, right, Kasane? I wonder if my power will reach the moon. It probably won't, though. I actually run an OSF fan site, so I want to post news about you on the moon. It's not just you, though. I want to post updates and share with everyone on the net about all the people that go there from the OSF. I got it. What if you write some kind of lunar diary while you're there? Then we can turn it into a book. I'll help. I thought that if history changed and Alice was alive, maybe Captain Seto was too. But we weren't so lucky. He's gone. I feel like I understood Karin just a little for a moment. But I wouldn't want to do the same thing. I heard you were going to the moon. Yes, that's right. How selfish. <laughs> I'll be glad to have you gone. You've had me running all over the place. What are you going to do, Sheedan? Don't ask questions you know the answer to. I'm staying in the OSF, so they have to recognize my strength. I thought you'd stopped worrying about what other people think. <laughs> I'm not worried about what other people think. I want to have more of a voice in the OSF. The fighting between Seiron and Suo hasn't completely died down yet. The cities will need to continue improving their relationship. I don't want bloodthirsty idiots who don't know anything giving me orders. Well, you surprisingly put some thought into this. I figured you were only interested in making yourself stronger. Of course I still want to be stronger. But that won't be enough to beat you. I thought you were like me. But then you said you wanted to go to the moon. I've started to look at the big picture as well as the future because... I don't want to lose to you. That wasn't my intention, but it's good to have a broad perspective. Besides, you might finally gain the composure you need to lead a platoon. <laughs> You're looking down on me again. Ah well, you should know that I'm going to beat you one of these days. Maybe not now, but one day. So you can't just leave without a rematch. Okay, we'll meet again. I, I, did, I didn't say I wanted to see you. But I'm also not saying I don't. <laughs>